So, my name is Natalie, and I will also read you, um, I will also talk about the benefits for um, reproductive cloning. And I just wanted to point out to my opponents that yes, it, the reproductive cloning is risky, but however, every medical technology carries um, carries with its with it a degree of risk. Cloning techniques will eventually be perfected in mammals and will then be suitable for human trials. We can't just give up on, on this trial because everyone has a right to have a, a, a child and if we give up that right, it's not gonna, it'll, it, if we give up that opportunity, that missed opportunity to allow people to have a child, then that will, um, Greatly, um, that will greatly um, fighting for fighting for this right is is something that we should do because we can't. It's not unfair. It's it's unfair for some people to have um, babies and others no. That's why. Um, that's why um, some scientists look at reproductive cloning as an opportunity for um, many things. Um, Trinity Volger, um, who wrote Cloning from the Stanford, which was produced by Stanford University, quoted that cloning would enable parents to have a child with a genome identical to that of a person with good health and or desirable characteristics. Basically, um, cloning will enable parents to have a child with or without, um, um, with, with characteristics that will have better genetic diversity, which is something that um, will benefit us in the long run. Um, our opponents say that um, it will, genetic reproduction will um, obscure natural selection and obscure uh, genetic diversity, but however, um, reproductive cloning is basically kind of like, um, like having identical twins because it has the same genes. However, even though they have the same genes, it doesn't mean that they're gonna look the same or, or have the same personality because it's like my partner says, it's based on the environment. Um, the National Research Council of Scientific and Medical Aspects of Human Reproductive Cloning says that a pair of clones would experience different environments and nutritional inputs while in the uterus, and they would be expected to be subjected to different inputs from their parent, from their parents' society and life experience as they grow up. Meaning that we'll have enough genetic diversity and we won't be different. Another factor is that um, it may be expensive, but in the long run, like it'll be something that will greatly benefit us because. Um, It will greatly benefit us because um, um, it'll it'll okay. it'll greatly benefit us because um, cloning is something that is new. It's something that will um, it. it it, it's bringing new life to our country. It's bringing new life for us all. And um, it's it's something that that we should look forward to and be optimistic towards because. Um, 
it's no different than having um, um, in vitro. In fact, um, and is human reproductive cloning inevitable? Future options for UN govern governance? It states that, in fact, cloning is more closely related to IVF practices than to genetics. It's something that will give us more diversity and probably benefit us more than anything else. 